Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you a product that could change the way that we install flexible hoses onto isolation valves. Now, this is the most common leak that I get called out to, and it's where people are installing taps or toilet fixtures. And what they do is they put the flexible hose, which has a rubber washer on the inside, straight down onto an isolation valve, which is actually designed for a copper pipe. So this leaves a beveled edge on the inside because we have a nut and olive and it's a very low sharp surface area that gets put onto a rubber washer. Now if you over tighten it, it can cut into it and what you probably don't realize is that the surface area that this actually touches the rubber on the inside is only on the very very edge. A lot of people say that they've never had a problem but trust me I get called out to these all the time and it can cause sometimes a bit of a flood. So what we're going to do is come up with a new way of doing so and I think that this little insert is definitely the future. Now there's other ways of doing this. Normally what we do is we install a copper to iron. So this is a fitting which obviously converts copper to a, um, a male thread which has a flat face. So what we do is we put it into the top end of the valve but what this can also give is too much height on the top. So if you have a long length of flexible hose what you want to do is actually get this as low down as possible. So yes that is another method. There is a fitting also which makes this a little bit smaller so that can go into the top which is a pretty good method but you also have a nut and olive connecting down onto a really hard bit of brass. Now I haven't seen too many problems but I have heard that sometimes under mains pressure something that can like this pop out especially like if you're using a old radiator tails whether it has a nice chrome polished finish can be quite slippery so I have known that to actually happen. Now the isolation valves that you like to see me use are these butterfly valves. It's basically a lever valve with a nice compact handle and these actually give a better connection in with the copper because they internal a lot more. And so it gives you a better surface area for the nut and olive to connect onto and using these inserts what I'm able to do now is take the nut and olive off, get this with a single o-ring on there and you basically just push it down into and that converts that face into a perfect nice surface area to connect down onto isolation valves. So yeah, I think this is the future of the way that we should be doing things. Like I said, there's a lot of people that say that they've never had a problem doing it the old way, but deep down you know it's not the right thing to do and you're just continually doing the wrong thing. So yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comments, but you can get these down. I'll link down where you can get them from in the UK. These have been out being sold in the EU for a very long time. I was just managed to actually get some and give them a bit of a test and hopefully try and bring these out further worldwide so we never get any leaks connecting our flexible hoses down to isolation valves. So if you liked today's plumbing video, please give it a like, drop a comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you on the next one.